Welcome to Chat Pion. Today, in this video, I will show you how to create a Facebook app for Chat Pion. First, log in to Chat Pion. From the left navigation of the dashboard, go to System and then click on Social Apps. Then, from Facebook, click on Change Setting. Click on Add New App. Here we will find some URLs and information, which we will need to create the Facebook app. And in this part, we will fill up app details from Facebook app. Now, let's go to developers.facebook.com to create the app. Click on My Apps and then click on Create Apps. Let's select the third option and click Next. Select Business here and click Next. Give a display name, this will be the name of our app. Then, we have app contact email. Email address will be automatically filled from the Facebook account. If you want to change it, you can do that. If you have any verified business account, you can select that here, but it's not mandatory. I am just skipping this one for now. Finally, click on the Create App button. Re-enter the Facebook password and submit. Now, we will have to add products to our app. First, let's add Facebook login. Click on Setup. Now, click on Web. Now, we will copy the site URL from ChatPion and paste it here. Click on the Save button, and then click on Continue. Now, go to the settings inside the Facebook login. By default, Public Profile has standard access, we will need advanced access for it. Click on the Get Advanced Access. Find the public profile and click on Get Advanced Access. Agree to the terms and conditions, and click on the Confirm button. Re-enter the password, and click Submit. Now, we will copy all the three valid OAuth redirect URLs from ChatPion, and paste them on this field. Click on the Save Changes button. Let's click on the Add Product. Then, click on the Webhooks Setup. From the drop-down list, select the page and then click on Subscribe. Now, here we will put the callback URL, and verify token from ChatPion. Click on Verify, and save it. From this list, just subscribe to the feed. Again from the drop-down list, select Instagram and click Subscribe. In the same way, put the webhook callback URL, and verify token. Select Instagram again, and then subscribe to comments, mentions, messages, and messaging postbacks. Now, click on Add Product again. And then, set up the messenger. We don't need to do anything here. Click on the Add Product again. Click on Setup, on the Instagram Graph API. Now, from the left navigation menu, go to Settings and then click on Basic. Put the app domain from the chat pion. Also, put the Privacy URL, and Terms of Service URL. Upload a logo for the app. Select the category as Business and Pages. Finally, click on the Save Changes button to save it. Now, copy the app ID and app secret code, and paste them on the chat pion. Put the app name, same as the name we have on the Facebook app. Then click on the Save button. Now, click on the Facebook icon. Click Login with Facebook. Continue. Select the Instagram accounts if you have any. And then, select the Facebook pages. You can select all of your Facebook pages if you want. Then click Next. Now, let's enable the bot connection. Go to the Facebook app again, and then click on Settings inside the Messenger. We can see our imported page here. 
Click on the Add Subscription and then, select Messages, Messaging Postbacks, Messaging Opt-ins, and Messaging Referrals. Click on Save. This is how we can create a Facebook app for ChatPion. Now, ChatPion will work only for the admins, developers, and testers of this app. To be able to use the ChatPion publicly, we will have to get the app approval from Facebook. We will guide you throughout the procedures of getting approvals on our blogs. That's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.